O Saint of that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Malani and I truly appreciate and celebrate America's independence with those who courageously defend our country, the men, women, and families of the United States military. It is because of you that well over 300 million American citizens can live in freedom. There is one military family here today I am especially excited to recognize. Our great Vice President, Mike Pence, and our second lady — never heard that term before, but that's what they say. And she is some lady, that I can tell you. Of the United States, Karen Pence, are here along with their son, Marine First Lieutenant Michael Pence. Where is Michael? Each of you here today represents that rare combination of patriotism, virtue, and courage that our citizens have always — and I mean always — admired, and that our enemies have always feared. At this moment, your brothers and sisters in arms are posted around the globe, fighting our enemies and standing watch to protect our nation. They're fighting for us. We are thanking them, praying for them, and saluting them for their selfless sacrifice. There could be no greater privilege than to serve as your Commander-in-Chief. I pledge my unwavering support for you, for your families, and your missions. I will always have you back. I will always, under all circumstances, you'll be coming back here, and I will always have your back. And I want to just tell you that our country is doing really, really well. No matter where you look, the economy is blazing, and on every front, we're doing well. And we do have challenges, but we will handle those challenges, believe me.